Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax Advisors, and we're here to give you your quarter one for 2018 market update. All right, so for the purposes of this video, as always, we're gonna be talking about single family homes here in the Northwest Broward County area. That's Parkland, Coconut Creek, and Coral Springs. Uh, we're gonna focus on single family homes. The market for condos and townhouses is a little different. Uh, so if you have a question about that, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to get you the information that you need there. Uh, but for single family homes in quarter, quarter one of 2018, we had 946 new homes come on the market. That's actually up 4.6% from quarter one of 2017. So we're seeing more homes finally start to come on the market, which is a good thing. Uh, but as far as the number of closed sales, we only had 422 closed sales in the, in the first three months of 2018. That's down actually a little over 9%, 9.2% uh, year over year from 2017. So we're seeing more homes come on the market fewer homes sell. So we're starting to see inventory creep up. Uh, that is going to start affecting pricing here. Uh, but as far as pricing goes in Parkland, the median price in quarter one was 620,000 for a single family home in Coral Springs. It was 390,000 and in Coconut Creek, it was 345,500. Uh, so year over year Parkland is up 3.5%. Coral Springs is up 5.4% and Coconut Creek is up 6.97%, which is great. We're seeing uh, prices continue to go up, uh, but here's where I think is going to happen. Here are the leading indicators, what these number te numbers tell us about what's going to happen in the future. With more homes coming on the market, fewer homes selling, we're going to start to see prices, you know, maybe not go down, but they're not going to continue to go up at this rate, I don't believe. Uh, so if you're thinking about buying, uh, now's a good time. You know, prices are starting to level off here. They're, they're not continuing to skyrocket, and we are seeing more inventory. So it's a really, uh, it's starting to be slightly better for, uh, for a buyer here. The number of months supply of inventory, they say in a balanced market, there's six months worth of inventory. Uh, the last about two years, we've been just about three months worth of inventory. We're starting to see it creep up. Uh, in this first quarter, we were at 3.65 months of inventory. So it's still definitely a seller's market. We're going to start seeing uh, prices come down a little bit, just slow down in the, in the, uh, the pace of their appreciation uh, because buyers are starting to get priced out of a lot of these neighborhoods. So that's why you're seeing these homes, you know, fewer homes sell. So it's, a, it's starting to be a little bit of a better time to be a buyer. If you're a seller, here's what that means for you. It's a fantastic time to put your home on the market. There's still a lot of buyers out there. It's still a time to get record price for your home, especially if you're moving up in price from let's say that three to 450 range up to let's say six to 700. There's a lot more inventory in that higher price range. You get a lot more pricing power. So it's a good time to be one of those kind of sellers and buyers. If you have any questions about anything that we've said today, feel free to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Let us know your specific questions. You know, you're welcome to give us your property address. We'll be more than happy to tell you what your home is worth in today's market. Again, I'm Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and thank you very much for watching this video.